a lot of positives we can take from it. Uh, certainly in the first half, I think you know we we tried a, a different shape tonight, and I thought it worked really well. Uh, you know we we stopped their attacking threat, and they didn't really cause us too many problems. And then I think you seen on the counter attack that we had uh, a few chances that that you know could have put us ahead. And second half, um, you know we didn't have as many chances, and. Uh, yeah, we're disappointed with how we conceded the goal. We worked really hard in set pieces, uh, both for and against, and unfortunately, it's it's come off my shoulder and and, and went in. Uh, yeah, so we're disappointed. We've never been in this situation before, uh, you know, where we've had three games in, in a short space of time, and it takes a lot out of you, uh, especially the 120 minutes that we had against Bosnia. It took a lot out of us, both physically and, and emotionally as well. Uh, you know, I thought we were a bit flat against Austria the other night and, and we've come here, the manager's made changes and quite a lot of changes tonight and they've worked really well. Uh, so I think he deserves a lot of credit for that. Uh, the boys that come in done unbelievably well. You know, you, you see the likes of Daniel Ballard, Tom Flanagan, uh, Jordan Thompson, players that got coming in and, and you know, not looking out of place and I'm sure they'll give the manager a headache for next month. We come into this trip looking to win all the games but Bosnia was the, the most important one. We managed to get through that. Uh, we wanted to build momentum going into next month with with two positive results against Austria and, and Norway. We weren't able to do that, and but everything geared towards next month. Uh, hopefully, players go away now and, and can get a bit of game time at their clubs, uh, stay injury free, stay COVID free, and uh, hopefully come back next month and uh, you know in, in a bit better shape and take it to Slovakia.